Right, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how we can draw these uh, simple diagrams and graphics uh, by combining uh, these primitive lines and vectors and curve. But uh, uh, if you are going to draw a very complex uh, drawings uh, within your LaTeX document uh, by uh, using this uh, PIP2E package, uh, it will be quite uh, complicated and it will be uh, quite difficult uh, to uh, draw such elements but uh, there is a package called tix uh, that uh, can help with you such task uh, and uh, yeah let's try to use that package instead of uh, directly draw uh, so first we have to import the package uh, which is uh, tix.tikz. So tix is an awesome uh, LaTeX package that comes with a nice a set of commands and that is uh, very helpful for draw uh, quite a bit of complex uh, drawings. And uh, yeah, so first let's create a new chapter. Let's see. Uh, Tix package for complex drawing. Right. So first, let's start with uh, maybe drawing simple lines, right? So let me create a new section. Let's say line drawings. And uh, yeah, in order to draw lines by using Tix package, again there is. Uh, um, the segment that you have to define so it is text picture and uh, you have to specify the end of that specific component as well. right so within these two segments or two commands you can define uh, whatever commands you want in order to construct uh, your diagram so let me first draw a simple line. So all you have to do is specify it as draw, and you have to specify the origin point, which is the start point, and two uh, dashes like this. So this signifies that you are going to construct a line, and you have to mention uh, the end coordinate as well. So let me use two zero. And the interesting thing in this X package is it's following this uh, uh, syntax behavior that you uh, usually are familiar with in programming. So you have to specify this as a line, and the end of the line should be signified by uh, mentioning this semicolon. So if you are going to use X package, make sure to uh, use this semicolon for each line. Uh, or for each command line that you are going to insert, otherwise it may give you some uh, compile errors. But uh, yeah, now let's try to build it, and uh, hopefully it should draw a line. Yes, the line has been drawn, and uh, you can see that uh, we haven't mentioned any sort of coordinate system like before. So Tix package automatically resolve that coordinate system for you, right? So it is very uh, useful when it comes to uh, drawing of complex diagram. And likewise, we can maybe draw a vertical line as well. So basically, I have to switch these values. So this should be zero minus two, and this should be zero and three. Let's try to build it again. Right now, you can see that we have vertical line and horizontal line, and the grids. Uh, coordinate has been automatically resolved as well right uh, so that's how we can uh, uh, draw lines and uh, let's see how we can draw a grid system as well so in the previously uh, we used this uh, picture package picture package uh, so in order to draw a grid if we use this package what we have to do is basically we have to repeat these line segments uh, of our diagram in order to consider that specific grid. 
but when it comes to pick to uh, when it comes to a ticks package we don't need to do that uh, we have a default uh, command called uh, grid in order to construct these sort of uh, grids so first uh, let's let me define a new section which is grids and uh, again we have to use this component instead of this stuff and let's try to draw a grid so you need to draw a grid again you have to specify what is the starting point so let me use minus 2 minus 2 as the starting point and instead of two dashes now we have to specify it as a grid so it uh, ticks package knows uh, now we have to draw a grid and we have to specify the endpoint as well right so minus 2 minus 2 is a point like this and 2 2 is a point like this right so and grid is the command that uh, ticks identify uh, this is specific drawing should uh, comprise a grid and if you build it again uh, yeah now you can see that grid over here okay and uh, uh, this grid can be customizable as well so you have to pass these options alongside that specific drawing so let's say if i want to make this grid uh, much gray color i can specify it as gray and build it again now you will see our grid has become gray right and uh, maybe if you want uh, thin lines or thick lines you can give those commands as well and uh, you can specify the uh, step size here as well uh, so currently we are following a uh, step size of unit length one but let's say if you want to uh, uh, divide grid into maybe more segments so let's say unit uh, length of 0 0.5 maybe then uh, you can define the step size as well so let me define the step size as maybe 0 0.5 centimeter and now you will see we will be having a much more dense grid right something like this so according to your requirement you can define the steps as that you want and uh, yeah so within this uh, grid now we can draw whatever uh, lines we want as well so let me draw these two lines again and uh, yeah if i build it again uh, you will see that's uh, those two lines over here and uh, if you want uh, you can draw a circle as well so let me draw a circle so first i have to specify the origin point so in my case it is zero by zero because the grid follows this fashion right so minus two minus two is the lower bound and uh, 2 by 2 is the upper bound so the middle point will be or the origin point will be 0 by 0 so this is the origin and the circle and I have to specify the radius as well so in my case let me use uh, 2 centimeters and let's build it again now you can see that uh, we have this circle right? and you can uh, customize uh, the thickness as well so let me maybe let me make this circle more thicker so you can pass maybe ultra thick or thick something like that <coughs> and yeah now the circle has become more thicker so these are basically uh, predefined enumerated values that comes alongside with this attics package so you can uh, maybe read their manual to uh, get a better understanding about these properties okay and uh, yeah so that's how we can draw grids and uh, yeah let let me uh, draw maybe curves as well so in order to draw curves uh, let me make a new section and we have to use these two commands and yeah in order to draw a curve 
basically uh, you can specify it as uh, like this so first you have to specify it as draw and then you have to specify what is the origin point so in my case it is zero zero right so basically it's the starting point then uh, you have to put two dots in order to specify it as a curve and you have to specify the control point okay? uh, so control point is the point that make that specific line as a curve right? so let me choose that uh, control point as maybe one two and again two dots and you have to mention the end point so end point maybe let's say four c right so this is the starting point zero zero and this is the end point four zero so by default this will be a line right this will be a horizontal line and since it at this specific control point of one two coordinate uh, it will drag that specific line uh, kind of uh, upward then uh, that line will become a curve right so that's the logic here and let's build it again uh yeah i think we have missed something here and what is that yeah this should be controlled right because there can be having any number of control points so currently we are going to use only one point but uh, yeah that command should be controlled let's build it again yeah now we have this curve likewise uh, you can uh, choose whatever number of control points you want and uh, for for now i will use only two control points so maybe three two three minus two then we will be having uh, two control points so the line has been curved in two different ways like this and uh, yeah in order to signify these control points let me draw some circles as well so it will be easier for you to understand what happening over here so maybe instead of draw i will use a field draw so then uh, whatever element that i'm going to draw i can fill the fill their colors as well so i will use maybe uh, red color and uh, yeah i have to draw now uh, two circles right in order to signify these control points so this is the first coordinate con of that control point and yeah, this is a circle maybe i will use the radius of two points likewise uh, i can chain these drawings together but at the end i should mention this uh, semicolon and the coordinate follows three by two three by minus two let's build it again uh, yeah did i miss something here circle yeah that shouldn't be there right now you can see that uh, yeah that control point exists right so first control point is there so it dragged this line kind of like this and second control point is there and it will again track uh, that uh, line like this so it makes us uh, a curve and uh, yeah so that's how we can use uh, tix package for do the same stuff that we have defined over here kind, kind of same stuff uh, and yeah so those are the some uh, primitive drawings that we can do by using tix package and uh, maybe in the next tutorial i will show you how we can uh, draw a complex drawings with uh, tix package and uh, yeah thank you